At the time of filming this, I just lost my first legitimate chess game to my son. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And uh, we're out here today to talk about pride and how it relates to team building and maybe parenting. Uh, so I just lost my very first chess game to my son and he legit beat me. Like I was not, I didn't throw the game, I didn't try to lose, like he, he legit beat me. And my pride is a little bit wounded. Now, you can look at that and you can, I can make excuses. I can say, well, I was distracted and, and we were doing other things or I made some mistakes that, you know, I shouldn't have made and whatever. Yeah, I can make all the excuses in the world, but at the end of the day, I lost my chess game to my son. And now there's two directions we can go from here. My first direction, of course, is the pride. It's the normal human reaction, right? And I want to diminish my son's accomplishments, right? And I want to tell him that, yeah, well, I, you know, I, I did this, that, and the other thing. And, and that's really why you won, right? And I want to make excuses to my wife about why, why he won. And I want to tell everyone around me, you know, hey, this was an anomaly, um, you know, but just rest assured, I usually win the chess games with my son, right? Th that's the reaction you can go down. Or you can go down the second uh, reaction, right? Where you swallow that pride and eat it and you praise your son's accomplishments. Why would you do that? Well, one, because it's the right moral thing to do. And two, uh, because you're trying to grow the character of your son into the man that you want him to be. And he did a good and honorable thing, destroying his dad in a chess game. And so you should, of course, affirm that and help him grow in that, right? And I think this translates to Minuteman teams because people don't grow up, they just get bigger. And what I mean is that still that feeling of, of pride, right? Where you wanna protect yourself and your own identity, that translates directly into how you interact with your boys. And if you go out and there's a shoot call and you fail and someone beats you or, or you're usually the best shooter, but, but you're not this time, right? You have, you do that same thing. Well, you know, Frank, I mean, uh, I'm a little tired today. My hands are cold. It's a little bit chilly, or you know, there's a, there's a, there's a slight wind from the east. You know, uh, that's why I missed that. And the wind, the wind stopped when you were shooting, right? You can, you can, you can go down that path, and you can start to diminish your other teammates' accomplishments, right? I saw this once in a rifle class. Um, we we're all doing like a a, a qual thing and uh, we were going for a competition and if you failed, you were out or whatever. And then the guy who was it was one of my buddies actually. And uh, he made it all the way to the end and then the instructor said, okay, well now, now you and I are gonna go. And, uh, and he beat him. He beat the instructor in, in the, whatever the little shoot qual was, right? And uh, the instructor immediately said, well, it's not that it matters anyway. And I saw that and I, I thought, Man, look at that. Like, look at, look at that pride come out. He's an instructor. He's supposed to be here to help us be better shooters. And rather than being excited that this kid outshot him and saying, hey, man, fantastic job. Let me go get you a little, little gear thing from my truck to give out to you because you did such a great job. Instead of doing that, what did he do? He diminished his accomplishment, right? He said, ah, oh, it's, it's not that it matters, even though the instructor is the one who set up the game, right? So. What, what did he do in that? He missed, he missed a fantastic teaching moment and a fantastic team building moment to be able to say, hey, look at this, be like this guy. This is how we did it. Hey, tell us how you did that, right? He missed a whore, he missed a, he made a horrible mistake and missed a pristine opportunity in order to, again, instruct, teach, and encourage people to be the shooters that they're paying him money to be. So when you go out with your boys and you're training with your boys, get out of your own way. Don't let your pride overcome your team development, growth, cohesion, and ultimate betterment of skill set, right? Because that can happen. You can get your own way and say, well, you know, I don't like this thing, or I don't like that we do that thing, or, you know, again, yeah, I would come, but, you know, I did this, or I have to do this. Like, there's all kinds of excuses where you make yourself the center, and then your team fails to grow together. And that's a problem. Right, that's a big problem. So, like I said, don't allow that to happen. Don't be the guy who holds the whole team back because all you can think about is yourself. Think about the team. What does the team need from me right now? How can I help the team? You know, how can I help these people be better shooters, be better fighters, be better emotionally and physically prepared? How can I do that? Instead of being like, oh, well, you know, you only squatted 295 today, but I did uh, 315 for reps yesterday. Like, and, and instead of saying that, right, how can you encourage and help your guys be better? 
You want to be the weakest guy on your team. You want everyone else on your team to be a better shooter than you, a better fighter than you. You want them to be able to run harder, run longer. You know, you want all those guys, right? That's what you want. You want them to be the best they possibly can be because, hey, I don't know, maybe your life will depend on it someday. So I just want to come on here and make this video to say, hey, again, don't let the pride, the, the you self-focused ego thing, destroy, ruin, or hold back your team. You're there for your team, for your boys, for a reason. So be there for that reason. Love your boys. Make sure that you are helping grow them into the men that you want by your side if things get weird. Do brave deeds and endure.